So uh, mine's a bright idea, and so it hasn't been implemented yet. I've actually just got an email from our IT department about how we're going to implement this. But our idea came from uh, mostly the milestones. So as you, many of you know, the competencies that were once a uh, cornerstone of residency and how we evaluated residents have now changed to the milestones. And one of those is milestone 10, which is about um, uh, uh, cost of care and, and grading residents on how well they are about cost of care. So Dr. Feldman, who's uh, one of the associate program directors of internal medicine, has always wanted to have a resident report card, much like you got one in high school or grade school or whatever, um, and be able to distribute this to the residents because there's really no good way for anyone to see how much they're ordering themselves or how much they're ordering compared to their peers. There's a lot of dashboards, as we know, that use quality metrics. So for a lot of the hospitals, we see our length of stay data, our VT prophylaxis data. Um, compared to our peers, and there is some data out there, not uh, published data, but some abstract data that shows that dashboards do improve um, performance, uh, and you don't even have to pay people. Just me seeing that my colleague is doing better on length of stay makes me want to do better on length of stay, too. So there's an element of kind of competition amongst peers. Um, so we're working with our IT department, and there has been um, some stuff where uh, the guys at Cooper Rowan did this, uh, where they gave residents a weekly report of the total labs that they got. Um, and there was a decrease, but it was kind of a little murky, and so we want to clean up the data a little bit and, and make it a little more competition friendly. And, and what we're going to do is we're going to create an electronic dashboard, so that's why we're going to IT folks to pull from our uh, electronic system. We are partly EPIC. But we're mo we, our impatient right now is on POE, which is Eclipsis or Sunrise for some of you guys who use that. And we want to have it so that the residents have um, immediate access to how they're doing. Uh, we don't want them having to call the pathology department. We don't have to call the radiology department to say, how many chest x-rays am I wearing? How many CMPs am I ordering? And then we also want uh, a tool for the program directors to have to actually grade their residents because now they have to mark something on the milestones. And so this will give them something to use um, when doing their program director meetings. Uh, and, and lastly, the biggest thing that we're going to do about this is that we're, so the ones, the guys at Cooper Rowan and other places, mostly they just do total numbers, so this is the total number of labs you ordered. We're actually going to break it down to make it so that they can see the number of CMPs they're ordering, the number of CBCs they're ordering, the number of chest x they're ordering, so they can just click down and look, compare to their peers, how much they're ordering of each individual test. And that way they can actually have a moment to reflect, well, why did I order more CBCs than my counterpart? Or why did I order more head CTs than my counterpart? Rather than just seeing the total number, because I think sometimes they get lost in that total number um, and don't understand what makes up that total number. Uh, so hopefully our goal is to launch this by um, January of uh, 2014. Uh, and what we're gonna do at Hopkins, we actually have a firm system. Uh, and so residents only get rotated on the firm. So if you are on one firm, you just spend all your general medical months on that firm. And so this gives us the ability to do a lot of great studies because we can expose only certain residents to it and certain residents not to it. And, and if you remember Dr. Feldman's time study, this is exactly what he did. He put two firms with the time motion stuff and two without the time motion. Um, and so this is what we're going to do, and then we're going to, at the end of the year, we're going to compare the firms and see if this introduction of this dashboard decreasing number of tests um, from one firm to the other, because there's also the change over the year, because the you know, interns just get a little bit smarter and they don't order as many tests, so we want to take that bias out of it a little bit. Uh, and uh, we look forward to hopefully launching this and maybe launching it nationwide soon.